You might have heard of the University of Manchester. You might have seen pictures of our campus before, and some of you might have even been here. However, today you have the opportunity to see our campus in a way you've never seen it before, including the huge number of buildings, our amazing student facilities, and the gorgeous city we live in. So let's go and explore. Here next to me is UniPlace, which is often seen as the hub of the University of Manchester. It has been named the Tin Can by students because of its very distinguishable look. It's a multifunctional building that has loads of teaching rooms and it also has the largest lecture theatre in Greater Manchester. This building is also where the student support and the study abroad team are located. This is the Manchester Engineering Campus Development. As one of the largest construction projects undertaken by any higher education institutions in the UK, it will create an even better environment for the brightest engineers to innovate. This is the Kilburn Building. It is the home of the Department of Computer Science at the University of Manchester. An interesting fact about this building is that it's designed in such a way that when looked from above, it looks like a computer chip. Opposite the Kilburn building, right behind me, you can see the Jean McFarlane building, which is the home of the School of Health Sciences. In this building, you can find courses like midwifery, psychology and mental health. This is the Alan Turing building. It is also known as the Mats building. However, as well as the Department of Maths, it also accommodates the researchers working at the Giorgio Bank Centre of Astrophysics on the third floor over there, as well as the researchers working in the Photon Science Institute on the other side of the building. Next to the Alan Turing building, we have the Schuster building, which is the home of the Department of Physics and Astronomy. It is in this very building where Brian Cox is conducting his research in physics. Coming from the Schuster building, we are now located at the Williamson Building, which is the home of Earth and Environmental Sciences. Here, students learn more about climate science, volcanoes and even dinosaur evolution. As well as the Schuster Building and the Williamson Building, in Brunswick Park you can also find the Chemistry Building. It is home of the Department of Chemistry. In this building, there is a lot of groundbreaking research in this field happening. In Brunswick Park, you can also find the Zoconis building, which is where the psychology students are primarily located. This is the building where academics who conduct cognitive research do their work. Right next to the Zoconis building, you can see the Simon building, which has loads of different study spaces. The Simon building also has a really nice well-being room where you can find the really big bean bags where students can go and relax during the day. Behind me is the Michael Smith Building. It is a home of the School of Biological Sciences. It's named after Michael Smith, who obtained his PhD at the University of Manchester. He was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1993. Behind me is the Stopford Building. It is the second largest building on campus. It houses the Faculty of Biology, Health and Medicine. It has six lecture theatres as well as the Stopford Library, which caters for all the medical students and scientists. This is the Alan Gilbert Learning Commons. The building is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and it offers a very modern and stylish study environment. It cost approximately £24 million to build and it's one of the most popular buildings on campus. It has over 400 computers and 30 group study rooms with interactive whiteboards to support group work. In this building, students are allowed to use the facilities all day and all night and it can often get quite busy during exam period. It is sometimes busy even at midnight or during the early hours in the morning. Just across the road is the Samuel Alexander Building, which is home of the Faculty of Arts. It also houses most of the School of Arts, Languages and Cultures. It is named after Samuel Alexander, who was a British philosopher and a Manchester celebrity. The University of Manchester Library is one of the best resourced academic libraries in the country, with over 4 million books 
50,000 electronic journals and 800,000 electronic books. It is huge. Alongside with the traditional library services, students can also use the self-service to check out books, join with their friends at the state-of-the-art group study spaces, or sit back and relax in the library cafe. Behind me is the Whitworth Hall. It is one of the most beautiful places on campus. It was built in 1893 and it forms part of the Old Quad. This is a courtyard of old beautiful buildings. Inside, it often feels a bit like Hogwarts. This is also the place where students graduate after they finish their degrees. They wear their caps and gowns and are joined by their family and friends to celebrate the completion of their degrees. So right now we are at the Dental Hospital, which is the home of the School of Dentistry at the University of Manchester. Right next to the Dental Hospital, we have the Martin Harris Center for Music and Drama. It is located at the heart of the University of Manchester. Since its opening in 2003, it has contributed to the cultural life of staff, students, alumni and the wider community. This is the Humanities Bridgeford Street building, where most of the humanities subjects are located. Right next to it, we have the Arthur Lewis building, which is the home of social sciences. It is named after Sir Arthur Lewis, who was awarded the Nobel Memorial Prize in Economic Sciences in 1979. He used to lecture for several years in this very building. This is the Alliance Manchester Business School. It is one of the most modern buildings on campus and it offers a fantastic open plan study space for business students. This building is also home of the Masood Entrepreneurship Centre, which has the mission to support and empower new startup projects by students. Hopefully you've been able to see what a huge place the University of Manchester is with all its building and facilities to meet the needs of our 40,000 students. We're a massive multicultural and welcoming university and we pride ourselves in creating a community feeling that makes all our visitors feel like they belong. Hopefully one day we'll be able to give you a proper tour of our rainy Manchester campus, but until then, thank you and goodbye.